All right. Here we have a little lean-to I built. I'm not leaning to anything. Just to hold some garden tractors and some dirt bikes and things. Keep them out of the rain. Just built this with some trees I had knocked down and some bamboo. And then a old tarp over it temporarily. But expecting some big rain today. And I got this nicer, heavier duty tarp that should go down over all three sides and keep everything nice and dry. So let's get that going. Here's a closer look at the structure. Nothing fancy, but all free. Isn't that right, Susan? All right, got it unfolded. It's a little back. I uh, got Sam coming out here to help me yank it up without it catching on the bamboo ends. And got it unfolded with the green side up so it'll blend in with the forest a bit more. Gotta get this brush pile back a bit further. Man, we got so many vines. I hate those things. But just scooted that back enough so I can stake that down. Where I need it, and I'll burn all that later.
All right, got it all tightened down. Just time for the rain, at least good enough for now. Everything put back underneath. There's the old tarp shoved under there. I'll fold those up when it's dry. And yeah, that'll do, don't you think, Susan? One more throw, and I'm gonna go in. And uh, about to head over to the other shop and work on the TO30. Alright, same rainy day over here with the TO30. Under another lean to. This old thing has seen better days, but she's almost ready to get back to work. And then I'm just gonna change the oil, change the ignition key, and put a new oil pan gasket on the bottom. And then I think it should be ready to hit a field again, but we'll see. So this key, we can crank it up, it gets spark and everything, but we can't turn it off at the key for some reason. So and I figure it's just a bad ignition. Oh, that's a, don't fully know what I'm doing enough to know for sure. Old ignition, old key, new ignition. Back here with the TO30 on a sunnier, drier day. I'm uh, gonna pick up where we left off and put some new terminals on these beetle suckers and then uh, see if we can finally get it fired up at the key and let it warm up enough so I can change the fluids and drop the oil pan, put a new gasket down there, and then just hit some grease points. So, uh, fingers crossed it goes smoother today.
some new terminals in there. Alright, I just barely got this. Oh shit. Now with new terminals on here, let's see if this thing will crank up. Okay, if all is well, it should fire right up. Just won't turn off at the key still. What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, back here again. Another day with the TO30. Uh, since I left off last, we still were getting power through the key all the time for some reason. And I had a buddy come. And he figured out that the amp meter was sending voltage. So before we had this wire on the amp meter, and we that what didn't work anyways, so we pulled that off, paired it up with the ignition, and that now battery sends power down to this solenoid down here which you engage through the gear shift and that sends power back up to the ignition and this jumps it through the resistor to the ignition coil points starter all the good stuff i am learning as i go so. but now that's solved so uh now today i'm finally just gonna crank it up should fire right up and then i'm gonna let it warm up for a minute do an oil change, uh, grease the points, all the grease points, and then I think it'll be good to take on home and finally do some work with it. Got this thing for 500 bucks. Uh, cheapest tractor I could find. baby
at all that extra oil we're getting out. We're back down. Then I'm going to drop the pan. New gasket. Slide back on. Fill her back up. Take it for a spin. Alright, that's good enough. It's taking the pan off. Not bad oil for not being changed for who knows how long. Man, look at this mangled drain plug. That thing has seen many better days. But, ah, back to the field with you. Alright, are these half inch? They are. gasket from 70 years ago. better. A little better than what it was. Alright, now we've got the new gasket ready to go on. Let's get this pan back on here. We've got oil on the camera, nice. Put that up. Okay. Bada bing! I gotta go check on this rice. Get in there, gasket. Where are you supposed to go?
make sure this is nice and tight if we can. All right, we'll give it a minute to settle down in there. Let's see where we're at. Nothing on the stick. Right there at the top of full. Perfect. And I believe hydraulic fluid was always good. That's pretty perfect. blasted with all the sound when you're sitting on it and I just threw this little slip on an exhaust pipe we had laying but I'm gonna take this off and, and see if we can't take it in there and unkink it and weld these together probably be a little janky but it'll at least be quieter than where it's at now filter. This old tractor has an oil bath air filter. So we got some oil in there. We'll spill it. Let's just get rid of that. Oh yeah. This thing is gunky. Still a lot of stuff down here. That's about a hundred times better than what it was. And it's got your fill line in the back there. So, let's fill it up. Boom.
go. Uh, fresh air filter. Got the exhaust off the tractor. There's where it attached. There's where it had rusted off before and it's kinked. Gonna cut that off and unkink that and then weld this on there. Let's cut this off.
probably should put it down there. Probably should. Me. there today but I gotta get it on a trailer haul it back over to my place and then use it for something all right this is about a week later got the tractor transported back from the land meant to film that too but it was nothing really exciting just a quick drive and it feels good to have this thing back here this was a $500 tractor that was just resting away Probably would have ended up at the scrapyard before long. And now it's ready for work again. I mean, it's far from perfect, but it's got a lot of life left in it. Alright, I figure I'm going to wrap up the video on the TO30 here. Uh, I just gave it a power wash, and I'm going to go park it with all the other tractors. But, um... Wish I had some attachments to do something with it. Unfortunately, I do not, but uh, maybe before long I will and we'll get to put this to some better use and get some cool footage of it. But for now, here it goes, driving into its home, for the time being at least. dirt bikes some other smaller tractors and now the big boy and I tried to get a video showing how the arms and the PTO works but I guess I lost that so let me try to get that again even though it's now dark in here but I'm just gonna show you that the arms do go up and down and the PTO spins it is nothing fancy I had to it doesn't want to go down on its own without any weight on it so I had to push it down but it goes right back up pretty quick this PTO spins it is pretty I 
it's pretty loosey goosey in there, but it'll get the job done. So, uh, that is putting a cover on this and saving an old TO30 from a scrapyard.